And in this video, we are going to look at questions students were able to answer in 2024 BC, questions weren't able to answer, which work is most likely to drop in subsequent BC, and other vital things that the chief examiner reported. So in the chief examiner's report, students were able to identify types of soil, define mixed farming, define pollination very well, solve calculation questions, but there's a problem with that. We'll get back to it in the video. Identify some laboratory apparatus and then questions were answered with less ambiguity. It means that students were able to give clear and concise responses to the questions that were presented to them. So here are some of the weaknesses. Students couldn't state the correct scientific units. If you can answer questions in calculation of science and you can't state the scientific units, it would have been better you didn't even answer it. Because if you don't have a unit, there's nothing to be interpreted or there are no decisions to be taken. They could not give the scientific formula and then expressions. So they could also not distinguish between experiment, observation, and conclusion. We understand the formation of eclipse and could not explain the concept. And then there was poor knowledge in the agricultural concept. This is because most students had the attention on the maybe biology aspect. Okay, so let's look at solutions to each of the weaknesses students exhibited. So when it comes to the correct use of scientific units, I think students should go back to basic and derived units and see how formulas are derived and the units are gotten as well. Also, when it comes to the formula, you have to review and apply relevant formulas to the right kind of equations. How do you do this? When a question is given to you, you should be able to break down the question to know the values and what each value represents. And you can actually use the units to know. For example, when there's kilogram there and the question doesn't have the question doesn't specifically mention that two kilograms is a mass. You just know that two kilograms represents mass. Okay, and then when it comes to the part of distinguishing between experimental observation and conclusion, students have to review scientific method and the difference between observation and then conclusions. And also, you have to practice um, experiments, scientific experiments, and then give observations and then conclusions. Students also not understanding the uh, formation of eclipse. I think because of the new curriculum, you can now watch videos and animations to explain eclipse to you better. And when it comes to the agricultural aspect, students should focus more on the technologies, read their textbook, read their aspect that have to do with um, agri. Let's move on to the next session. So teachers sh should involve candidates in practical exercises. Also, students should have gardens or farms where students will go to, to acquire practical skills. So every school is actually supposed to have a garden. And teachers should teach candidates the difference among the term, explain, what is, and then state. So when you're asked to explain something, it's not the same as you're being asked to state. So the chief examiner is recommending that Teachers take time to teach students the difference between the scientific terms and conventions. Students are also told to read more books to be able to express themselves very well when answering questions. And the following are some of the questions that were asked in the 2024 BEC. You can pause the video, take a screenshot and then go through them again. I wish you all the best in your upcoming exams.